my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today I'm going to show you how I achieve this glowy, dewy, bronzed, neutral summer makeup look. I really like the way this look came out and I feel like it is such a nice and natural look, but still giving you that wow factor with all this highlight that we have going on here. If you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look, please keep watching because I show you how I got this look from start to finish and I think that it's easy enough to follow along to as well. So guys, for this nice dewy bronze neutral makeup look, just keep watching. With this Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Makeup in the color medium beige. Let's just apply this liberally everywhere. <laughs> Anastasia color cream kit and I love this orange color. I feel like I'm always using it, but it really helps to color correct our dark circles. Just dabbing it on with my finger. Now I'm going in with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color medium 28. This will be light, but not white white because I am a little bit more tan than usual. So I'm also playing around with different makeup. With a clean beauty blender. It was lightly dampened. Cleaning off my brows. Ben Nye in the translucent powder color Fair. Just gonna put a little bit over here. And I'm just going in with the back of this brush. Just gonna dab it on. Just really to set my under eye concealer. Face powder in the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline in the color 240 Golden Beige and also 330 Toffee. I like to actually mix these. So in the center of my face, I'm using the lighter one in 240. Just literally dabbing it in. Then I'm going in with this Toffee one in 330. And I'm going on the outskirts of my face really. This is going to help give me a bronzy look even before I use any bronzer. Now I'm going in with this Morphe Contour Palette and I'm going to take probably even the darkest color in this palette. This is the 9C palette. So I'm just carving out my cheekbones. I didn't do a liquid contour today so I'm just doing a powder contour. I'm going to take, I guess, this color. So like the third darkest color. I'm just going to carve out my nose a bit. Don't worry if it looks intense because we're going to be brushing that away after. A little bit underneath. Then we're going to take a brush with a little bit of product on it, as you can see. <laughs> this just has some leftover translucent powder on and then we're just going to brush that away. I'm just going to go in with this Bobbi Brown highlight. This is one of my favorites in Bronze Glow. I love this for when I'm more tanned because when I'm pale it doesn't look quite right but when I'm tanned it looks super nice. So I'm just going to show you how it looks on my nose right away. I don't know if the light's picking that up but this just helps our nose to look even slimmer because we're just putting the highlight very precisely down the center. Then we'll just brush that in a bit so it's not too harsh. This Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, this is one of my favorites. We're just going to bronze our cheeks. And now as you can see that powder, since it was darker, the face powder already gave us that bronzed look. So this will just reinforce that. Okay, I have this Morphe Blush Trio Palette. This is in Pop of Peach. There's maker, creator, and influencer. And I think my favorite has to be creator and even maker when I want it to be more bronzed. So let's first go in with creator. Just on the apples of our cheeks. Now we'll just do a touch of maker just because it has that bronze feel. Just gonna brush that out a bit with just my face brush that I use all my face powders with. I have this new product that I've been using. It's by Mellow and it's called the Brow Definer. It's not such a thin brush, but it helps me to do my brows very quickly. So you can just twist it up and you can just get it done super quick. So this is great for when you're on the go and you don't need to be so precise. I'm just going in, I'm just going to line a little bit underneath. 
Now we just need to go and fill in the side a bit. My brows are not too bad. They're not very sparse, but they are sparse in certain areas. So you want to make those areas just play nicely with the rest of the brow. Okay. See, I like this because you don't have to be so precise. You just brush it in and already our brow is done. That was super easy. You can kind of compare it to the other one. It still looks natural enough, but it's nice and full. And the back has this brush, so I'm just going to brush it through with this spoolie that's already built in. See, it's such a nice and natural look. So we're gonna do the same with the other brow. Now that our brows are done, let's do a little bit of eyeshadow. I have this Pixie palette. I think they collabed with Whaley, so this is in the eyeshadow palette, Let's Talk Eyes. And I like that the colors are all named on the back. They have clear labels, so that's actually kind of cute. And we're going to go in with the color Siesta. This actually looks to be right up my alley. I love these sort of warm browns. I feel like no matter what eyeshadow palette I use, my eyes always end up looking so similar because I always gravitate to similar colors, but that's just me. So we're sort of focusing on the crease. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. There's no product on this brush. I just literally blend, blend, blend. I think we'll go with the lightest color. So this color is called Itty Bitty. So with just my finger, I'm just going to dab this on my eyelid. Whoa, that's kind of cool actually. Now with the super thin brush, I'm just going to go back in with that itty bitty color. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that color and my inner eye corner. I didn't even just touch my nose a bit. I'm actually going to even do my lip right here. Just brush it. Continuing with our eyes, we're just going to be curling our lashes very quickly. So just an eyelash curler. See what a difference that makes already. Never use this on your lashes that you've already used mascara on because you can literally break them, but you just wanna curl them beforehand. And now I'm going in with this Essence. I love extreme crazy volume mascara. I feel like this is such a nice mascara considering it is literally like $3. It's so good. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I think I could honestly like apply mascara for an hour and just never stopping. <laughs> But we gotta stop sometime. Do you see the difference? This mascara is actually really good. So I highly recommend Essence products in general if you're looking for some great drugstore product. Should we apply some to the bottom lashes? That's always tricky because I feel like by the end of the day, my eyes are kind of oily. I feel like it sort of just bleeds onto my face, but we'll apply a bit anyway. Of course, with this Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Precision Eyeliner. I don't think I've ever used a different one. This one is actually on its last legs. It's sort of starting to dry out a bit on me, but it's my favorite. And it's super easy to do a quick cat eye with this. Now we're just going to go back in with this palette. I guess we'll use the color in Beauteous. I feel like wearing um, eyeliner for my waterline today so I'm just going to make them stand out a bit by doing this. I'm literally just brushing some color on. Going back in with this Bobbi Brown in Bronze Glow. We are taking our highlighter brush. Bless you. And we're just going to literally put that highlight on because this is going to give us that bronze glowy look that we are going for. Do you, see how, do you see how a little bit goes really a long way with this Bobbi Brown product? It's so good, but I feel like it looks really, really nice on tanned skin. Just going over this. And why not go a little bit on my chin? And just a touch right here, right above the brow. It looks so dewy. Now when I do that, I kind of will brush in my face just a tiny bit, just so we don't look extremely, extremely glowy. So we have simple glowy eyes. Our face looks so dewy and bronzed. Now I want a lip look that will complement with that and I want a nice glowy, glossy lip. So let's do this lip liner. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and it's in Rock and Rose. I feel like I've used this or talked about this before. 
And this one is so affordable. Now I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in Dainty. This gloss is a thick gloss but it's not very shiny. So over it, I'll show you what I'm going to put, but wait, if I'm not even looking at you guys, <laughs> I'm looking in my mirror. So it's a gloss that's not going to be too heavy and too, too pigmented, which is actually nice. And I'm just going over this with this City Lips in Los Angeles. So it looks super pink, but it's really just a bit of the shine that we want. Blotting your lips. I'm going to be taking my hair out and changing out of these clothes and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. But this is basically the final makeup look. So with my hair down and in a different outfit, I'm sure it will look much better. Hi guys, I'm back. So I quickly just curled my hair a bit because I felt like it went with this sort of glowy, dewy look that we have going on here. And of course I changed my outfit, but here is the final look. I kept it very neutral and simple, but still super nice because there are these pops of shine. And if you did enjoy this makeup look, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll have new videos every single week for you guys and of course feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of makeup look you would like to see next or even what kind of video you would like to see next I'm always open to suggestions and if you do decide to give this look a go please let me know how this turned out for you I just thought that this was a super nice natural a summery and glowy and that's kind of just how I want to look in the summertime so thank you guys again so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!